Hello folks and welcome back to Snow Runner, my own self-imposed hardcore mode. And we got a convoy heading back to the garage. As you can see back there. Maybe. Where'd it go? Uh -oh. Okay, it's still back there. Couldn't see it, but I got the Tega here. And I got the Tuz 166. And we were heading back to the garage. So that I can start doing some missions here in Drowned Lands. And if you ever tried this, it is not very easy to do two tractor trailers at once. Because that back one tends to turn a little bit sharper. So you got to take the corners wide. And it was just something I wanted to try. I actually towed the TUZ. Uh, towed it onto this map using the Tega and the flatbed. The ramp flatbed. And it seemed to work out okay. Uh, it wasn't the greatest because it tended to want to slide a good bit. But I did get it over here and then I thought, you know, I'm going to see if I can transfer it over to this truck to go in the rest of the way. And I was able to do it. Took a little bit of maneuvering. And it is out of gas. So how am I going to get it off here? That's easy. I go here. Change trucks. And I need to go up a little bit further. Now I should be able to... Yep. Move it into the garage. And then we'll go back out to the... Navistar. I will park my trailer and then move it into the garage. Because it is in need of some repairs. Kind of beat it up and banged it up and now it is time to love on it a little bit. As soon as I get this trailer dropped off, we'll get it in there. Then we'll go get the Tega. Because the Tega needs some upgrades. And Tega. So do the same thing. Get it over here. Drop the trailer off. And then get in and get the uh, engine upgrade. That I've had for a while. But I have not had the Tega back over here to the garage. Alright, so I got two of my three trailers here. The third trailer is sitting over at the garage site. Ready to be uh, used. Because it has all the necessary stuff to do our next garage. Alright, just going to make sure that I've got everything. 
I think 51s are the biggest I can get on here. And make sure I did get the 51 mud tires, yes. Uh, advanced medium. Yeah, I wanted the advanced medium because it has uh, the longer cable. And I don't think, no, I can't put a spare tire on it and pull the trailer and have the crane, and I need the crane. So I believe that's all of the upgrades that it needs. And you will notice also in the garage, I did get the step. So the step, oh, come back out, quit hiding. So the step is located over here on Zemnogorsk. And it is right here. And what I did was I had my P12 over here. Uh, I brought it over here fully loaded with uh, fuel and repair points. Took it out there, used all the repair and, and the repair points and filled it up with fuel and then towed it back where I had the Tega waiting with one of the trailers that I got off the rift. I pulled a maintenance trailer over here and finished doing the maintenance on the step. I was able to get the step and then I took it over here to the quarry where I had the other Tatron, the one that I got off the rift and it pulled back the step. Uh, the other Tatron that I had, I brought it back and it actually came over here and there was a broken down truck here. It's one of the missions. So it picked it up and then got both Tatrons and the step and the broken down truck which delivered it here and got everything back to the garage and since I am in hardcore mode my own self-imposed one I cannot own two Tatrons so I had to sell one which is why I have 156,000 but I do have the other one here and I've got it fully decked out and ready to go and I still cannot I still cannot get the Dan mission to work. So there should be a yellow box here that I can get into and then refuel the Dan and the Dan becomes mine. Uh, I have the Scout 800 over here with uh, plenty of fuel. But for some reason the yellow box isn't here and it will not let me refuel the vehicle. So I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, if anybody knows, let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate it. So let's go back here and I am going to do Russian trucks. So let's go ahead and go to our trailer or to our truck store and see what I'm going to buy next. That one's not bad. I like the Dan better and I'm hoping to get the Dan. These two are just too slow. So it's between the... I like the 4380. It's a fairly decent truck. And... I like this one. So I believe, and it's also seismic vibrator compatible. So I think I'm going to buy that one. Because we are going to have to do the seismic mission. 
how to do that. Yeah, we'll put some mud tires on it. Uh, I still have some money. So we get that one on there, put a spare tire on it. And before I do that, I want to take it off of here. Because I'm going to use this truck for something else. And then snorkel, go ahead and put a snorkel on it. I think the stock snorkel is good enough, but you know why not if I can. Nope. I might as well leave those on. Front bumper. So let's see, and I think that one should work out nicely. Don't need that, don't care about rims. Oh, I kind of like the orange. Yeah, let's go with the orange. I don't think I have an orange truck. And now that one is ready to roll. So let's take a look at what I have to do. Okay, so starting point. Oh, this is over in a quarry. Okay, so I'm not worried about that right now. Triangulation is locked because I have to do these before I can come down here and do. Uh, where is it? Key building restoration. And that's the uh, garage on Zimnogorsk. Alright, so let's see what I have here. Sawmill, factory, and the farm. So where can I get my cement? I can get it here. Take that to the sawmill. I pick up the wooden planks from the sawmill. Take to the factory. And concrete slabs. I can pick up from the factory and take to the farm. All right, well-rounded mission. So let's go ahead and accept that one. And oh, close function. We'll get you out of the way. And come down here to the garage. And I believe I am going to take the Tega. After I look and see, can I get a crane for this one? Not that big crane. So 
So let's put a loading crane on it. And then see if I can put a flatbed. Yes, I can. So this is the one I'm taking. No, it's not. It doesn't have a very big fuel tank. Uh, yeah. Put a flatbed on it. Oh, that's right. You can't have a crane and a flatbed on this truck. Which is okay. Because there's something else I wanted to try. So I can pull the gooseneck trailer with this. With the crane on here. But can I pull the other trailer? Yes, I can. So what I can do is I can drop the trailer and then I can load with my crane. Because I am in hardcore mode, which means I have to load all cargoes manually. Which has become kind of a pain in the butt lately. Let's go over and get cement. Oh, wrong way. I knew I was turning the wrong way as soon as I did it. Come on, there you go. So I have gotten, I think, all of the upgrades. Now, there might be one more that I have to locate. But I went to all of the places that I can remember. And I think I got them all. Oh. Wow. That's a lot of damage for nothing wrong with the road. Ah, oh, I forgot I still got him over here. So I will use that one to reload. And start the engine. And I needed cement. Activate my anchors. Crane mode. And I would rather load with this crane anyway. The American crane seems to uh, be able to pick up heavier weight than the Russian crane. Stop swinging. Well, that was just bad. I can do better than that. There we go. Get out of here. Cargo management. Cement.
Yeah, cycle of cargo, so I have to do them in order. Frame mode. And let's get rid of that. This trailer's a little bit harder to load than uh flatbed trailer. So restore my crane. Yep. Stop the engine first. Then change trucks. And off we go to the sawmill. Sawmill we go to deliver our load. Come on now, you got a bigger engine. Let's take a look, see where we're going. So I am heading to the sawmill. And I really don't want to take this road. It is a pain in the butt. And I think there's a trailer out here I need to discover. Yeah, right there it is. So not real, really worried about that trailer. And I have not accepted the mission yet that has the containers out here. I haven't been out there yet. So I think... Yeah, let's just take this way. We'll come down here, go through here. And then come around to the sawmill. I can also fuel up here. I think I need to cross here. Yep. So I go over this way because there's a big turn and it's hard to make if you follow the road. But normally coming through here is fairly easy. did flip a truck one time and I normally don't go down the wash here uh oh no 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 come on Okay, this could be bad. There we 
Ecke. Almost flipped the second truck there. Talking and trying to drive. So I should go, yep, to the left. Sorry about that, had to sneeze. And we will go in here. Detached trailer. And a little further. Right about there. And activate the anchors. Ah, uh, shoot, I forgot to get the load. So, wooden planks. Why does it not let me get the... Okay, so I need to go up a little more. Oh, that's right. Crap. Okay, it will not let me... Um, get them because I don't have any place to put them. And now, I can do that. So wooden planks. And what I'm going to have to do is Yeah, this could be a lot more of a pain in the butt than I thought it would be. Let's just pull them off here. I don't think I can put it back far enough to put two of them on here while attached to the trailer. But I might be able to. I think that's as far as it'll let me get it back. I don't know. I might be able to get a second one. Okay, so I can load two cargoes without unhooking it from the unhooking the truck from the trailer.
but they did take a lot more fuel than I had planned on using. And I have to come back over here and refuel. That's okay. More drive time. You know what I didn't think of was jackknifing the trailer. Because if I jackknife that trailer, then I might be able to load up a third cargo. I have to try that at some point. So we're going to head back the way we came, fuel up, and then head for the factory. Remember which way I came. To the right. Could have actually went the other way, but that's no fun. This is the way I should have come down here. Hug the side over here by the trees. Oop, I didn't see the rocks. It's okay, we'll go right through the rocks. There's my road. I wish there were more missions like this. Where, uh, it takes a lot more time to do the mission. Some of the missions don't take very long at all. And I'm going to have to set this uh, set this place up. I'm not going to use it. I can't use it or it's going to cost me money. But I do need to get in here and uh, get this place set up. Too hard on the trigger. 
actually went out and I was going to get another Xbox controller because I'm playing this on Xbox. And these trucks. And I was also looking for the steering wheel because Walmart had steering wheels. Uh, it's been months ago because I looked at them and cannot find a steering wheel anywhere and just notice that I can't find an Xbox controller anywhere either nobody has them so I don't know where they've all gone I guess they've just sold out and haven't got them restocked. Uh, while I was at, I even uh, I checked like six different WalMarts because I went on a trip last week, and I was driving, so I was checking the WalMarts in the area of where I was at. And nobody has them, but there was uh, two other people there, both of them looking for Xbox One controllers. But I got to looking, and they have basically nothing for Xbox. Uh, everything is sold out. They still had games at all of them, but kind of like the crappy games nobody wants to play. Excuse me. And uh, the two guys that were there said the told me that uh, basically the same thing I'd been experience, experiencing that they can't find Xbox stuff anywhere. But I was also looking at the PlayStation, and there's nothing out there for Playstations either. I did find one GameStop, and when I asked them about the steering wheel, they said that they could order it, and we were talking about it, and the guy told me, yeah, it'd be uh, $137. I'm like, you're joking, right? He said, no, because the one I was looking at was at Walmart for uh, $99. And he said it would take four to six weeks to come in. I told him if I wanted to order it, I'd just get the $99 one at Walmart. Why would I pay an extra $38 and actually have to wait longer? He said, well, that's what we sell them for. Well, you can hold on to them then. I'm not buying one for that price. Is that not where I deliver it? Okay, let's look at this task again. Oh crap, I went the wrong way. How did I manage that? I know how I managed it. Sitting here talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing. So where am I at? I'm way over here. Oh, this is the warehouse. Ah, you know it happens sometimes.
attention to detail. I was not paying attention to details. Sorry, I dropped something on my shirt. Yeah, let's look, make sure I'm going the right way this time. So, I need to go. Factory's over there, so I am going to have to go past here again. So I might as well fuel up while I'm doing it. Too bad this doesn't have a reset where you could uh, back up time for five minutes. I wouldn't be using it now, but there have been times when I would use it. Big bump. So get back on the road, get off here, go in there, and then come out this direction. And follow my road around to the factory. And hey, it's a nice night for a drive. Should be getting close to morning. So if you're sitting there yelling at the screen, you're going the wrong way. Should have yelled louder. I didn't quite hear you. It's funny, sometimes... When I'm watching the guys that I watch, I'll sit there and I'll say, You're going the wrong way, or this or that, why don't you do it this way? And I'm sitting there thinking, yeah, like, we're like, they can really hear me. I guess that's why people do live streams. If I was doing a live stream, you could tell me. I am going to try that, though. Uh, not only do stuff on Twitch, but I was reading up on how to do not only live stream on Twitch, but to do it on YouTube at the same time, do a YouTube live stream. And I think I can do it. So I was actually planning on trying that tonight. Because I got my notes here. They're actually over on my desk. And life happened again. So my daughter calls me earlier today as she was coming home from work. She got off of an exit and hydroplaned and smashed into the guardrail. 
is perfectly fine. A little shook up. But uh, she's a very tough girl, just like Dad. And I went out, and it wasn't very far from the house. So I went out and she had already got the car started and there was a few parts laying around. So she had already picked them up. And she said she was good to go. She'd drive it back. And I let her drive it about, uh, about a mile. And then I had her pull over and I jumped in it. Uh, let her drive the wife's Jeep. Uh, that way I could drive the car and make sure, you know, check the suspension and the steering and stuff like that. Which everything was fine. It's just a lot of uh, cosmetic on the front and the back. Well, down the sides. But it's an old car. The car was given to me by a buddy of mine. Because I needed a car at the time and it had electrical issues and I think I put about shoot he had probably 120 130,000 and it's over 200,000 now and a really good car and his wife called the car Betty so Betty got banged up thinking about changing her name to Ugly Betty. But she's got a strong heart. Took the fender off, beat it back into place. Uh, did a little bit of uh, pulling and twisting on some of the frame parts up front. Got everything put back on. Tomorrow I will do the back end and I'll have her back on the road before I go to bed. Safely back on the road. Got time to do a little bit of body work. amazing sometimes life will throw these little things at you to remind you how precious life is and how some of your other problems are very insignificant in here drop that off and now I need concrete slab I just need one how am I going to do this well the easiest way would be go ahead and put the slab there and then drop the trailer and get up next to the trailer pick it up put it on the trailer but I kind of wanted to try the old jackknifing thing. But I don't know if the crane is strong enough to pick it up. But we will try. And if not, I've already got it down. So activate anchor. Uh-oh. Now that's not going to work. Yeah, I think it's too far away to pick up. A lighter load would work. But this heavy load, I don't think it will. So let me just move the trailer over.
And we'll load it this way. Right there. And it went a little further than I wanted to, but that'll be okay. Activate my anchors. Go to gray mode, and let's see if this... Oh, just did make it. You gotta be careful when you do the crane. Uh, because if that trailer is too close, it'll act, the crane will actually knock the trailer over. I've done that a couple of times. Let's go up. Got to come back toward. Ooh. This is a heavy load for this crane. So, oh, forgot I can get rid of that so I can see what I'm doing. And pick it up. Pick it up again. because I want to get it up front. No problem. And there was only one. and we are off to the farm so how about putting some waypoints down farm is over there and I do have a fuel tanker over there so come back out here follow the road around to the road there's the intersection Go that way, and we will come through here. I think that would be easier. And then about right in, here's where I want to go up the hill. Oh, I forgot I got a fuel tanker over here. That was just a bad job of backing up. Let's zoom out a little bit. Now, let's turn you in there. Have enough fuel. There's not much fuel left in that tank. So, I'm going to leave that there. Which way was I going? To the right. And I've uh, got enough fuel to make it to the bigger tanker. Which I believe I'm going to have to take it back to the garage and get refilled here pretty soon. Rain. Oh, 
Bites are not going to help me. Yeah, I told my daughter, I said, there's one good thing about having the wreck. And she said, what? And I said, now you have story, you have a story to tell your kids. Like the stories that I told her. But unlike uh, my stories, you can do pictures. You know, I've had a couple of accidents, none of which were my fault. And back then it was, if you want to take a picture, you had to have a camera with you. Now everybody carries a camera. And you know, back in my day, if I saw somebody, and still yet today, but I guess it's just a my generation thing. Uh, if you saw somebody had an accident, you would actually stop and help them. And she was, I bet you there were 40 cars past her, and none of them stopped. go straight through. It's actually easier than going around through this mud. Don't know what's up with people nowadays. Don't know whether they're afraid to stop and help somebody. Afraid they'll get attacked or if they just don't care. My wife, when we first got married, she was driving home, and she had a flat tire. So she had never changed a tire before, and this was before everybody had cell phones. But she said that she was sitting there, and three guys in an old beat up pickup truck and she said they were at first it was scary for her, uh, but she said they got out of the truck and they're wearing bib overalls with no shirts on she said all she thought about was deliverance this is heavy and they actually stopped and make sure she was okay and actually changed the tire for her. You don't have people like that anymore. It just doesn't seem like it. There we go, close enough. Everybody's out for themselves. You know, you got to take care of yourself. But you also got to remember there are other people out there that might need a little helping hand. Front row. Okay, attach. Give me a bump, don't give me a flip. Mm. 
come on. Here we go. So this video is going a little bit long, but I want to finish this mission. And what I'll probably do is take a little bit of it and fast forward it. So we'll keep around our hour mark, maybe a little bit more. Yep, because we are almost there. I could probably go through the mud in a truck. Mud that's to the right. It'd probably be okay. Right now I don't want to deal with probably. This is a little bit better road. So this is about the time that the game says, ha ha, I hit a little stone and flipped the truck over. I actually have a timed event up here. But I don't think I want to do it in this truck. I believe last time I did it in, well, I don't remember what I did it in, but I think this time I want to try with the MK-38. I did it with a Russian truck last time, and it took a lot of time. I wasn't even close to the time. Thirty gallons. I'll fill up on the way back. So let's see if I can get this thing up the hill. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can get it down the hill. Without hitting a stump or a rock. And flipping me over. No problem. And delivery. So $4,800. Took about an hour of my time. I can deal with that. So I'm going to call it an end to the episode. So let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what I need to improve on. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like. And if you're feeling really brave, subscribe to the channel. Up. I am going back up the hill and I'm going to go get me some gas and I'm going to see if there are any missions in this vicinity that I can use this truck for before I take it back to the garage and what I'll probably do in the next episode is go ahead and get those uh, seismic missions knocked out not my favorite missions so I think I may want to go ahead and just get those knocked out so they're not sitting in the back of my mind. And then go ahead and get the other garage over at uh, Zemnogorsk opened up. Actually, well, yeah, I might as well get fuel. So let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next episode. So until then, 
Have a good one.